Welcome to the wonderful world of the Pauper Gauntlet. I am playing Thunder Trees. So let's see what we can do. Here we go, playing against the Nick. Let's be polite and wish him good luck. There we go. Okay. So we have a problem immediately and have to mulligan. I think. What are we using crop rotation for? Utility land. Well, I'm gonna keep this. Crop rotation seems very hard to use efficiently. No quick sense what it fan graphs. We have 25 lands though. And a swirling sandstorm. Are we a four color deck? Here's one color. Interesting. Only four forests. Three tranquil tickets. Thickets. And Grim Harvest. Oh, we have the tree folk and the Corazon Tuskers as well. We definitely need green mana then. Four color and a lot of colorless lands. Four colorless lands. Well. Let's help him build a werebear then. Should I, should I just make him discard with the fan graph? Definitely playing the quicksand. Madness or threshold rather. Okay. You need to die. Before you become a 4 4. One for twoing myself with crop rotation. Is that so great? Well, I need my hotel fangraph more than he needs to lose a card. I'm gonna have to use it for mana. Making him discard a deep analysis felt pretty bad. No prisms. Swirling Sandstorm is actually great. I like it a lot. But seven cards in the graveyard seems far away. Another bear. Uh, could be the wrong deck to make discard things. I make 
making him this code. At least it gets me closer to my threshold, but I need that mana to cast Sandstorm as well. <laughs> okay, uh, Raven's Crime and uh, Blue Green Madness is not in the sideboard plan. No. I think we can just safely assume that we have lost this one. Three folk would be great now though. Really great. Unless we can find green or we have three evolving wilds. Three mountains and four forests. Comes an arrogant worm. Yeah. Not looking good for us. We just have one Raven's Crime, but I'm gonna take it out. Bringing in, oh, this deck is so greedy. Terminate and Sandstorms look good. So let's see what we draw. We draw Forgotten Cave. But we are not even close to being able to Threshold. We can firebolt something though. But we only have one more turn before we are dead. So that firebolt doesn't look very helpful. Crop rotation does enable the sandstorms. And I think it is definitely sandstorm that we need to, to win the game. So I take out the Raven's Crime. I'm looking at the Resounding Thunders. They seem super expensive and they don't hit Mongrel well. They don't hit a Worm. I will never get to eight mana. So I'm taking out the Raven's Crime and three Thunders to bring in two Terminates and two Swirling Sandstorms. Am I dead yet? No. Well, now I'm done. The Nick wins. So three thunders leave us and the Raven's Crime. Okay, so how do I get seven cards in the graveyard? I want to play first. I will mulligan. And I will keep this. I'll start with Buyuka Bog so I can get the land in the graveyard. But that's it. That's my Buyuka Bog. So, but I don't see why I would be have to use it against him. Now I'm cycling the moor, playing the Forgotten Cave. 
So I have terminate. Cycling the more. Playing the forgotten cave. Quick sound for the tree folk. At least now I have terminate bolt. That's a bolt target if I ever saw one. So I bolt it. And play the tranquil ticket. Three colors of mana. So do I chilling tree folk for one land or do I try to use the quicksand? Okay, I won't be able to use the quicksand on that guy. But I could use a bolt. Ooh, on someone. Interesting. I think I'm playing the tree folk here because I have to use use my cards. I'm getting the Baron more, I can cycle it again. I can fan graph the tree folk later. To get back Fengraph Treefolk. Mm, loop. Okay, so I'm blocking with the Treefolk here. Cycling that thing. There's the Sandstorm. Which card at random? Mm, that's pretty good. So we are blocking, retrieving the tree folk. is playing right into it so what else could you do um, I retrieve the tree folk so random wasn't it Non took a vigilante. Uh, okay. Why is he still in my deck? Because I didn't have a cyber plan. So we are. Playing the tree folk. Hmm, should I? Oh. Now it's countered. We have another one. Five cards in the graveyard. I 
can't pump it. But it's pumping it anyway, so I kill it. But all these utility lands are keeping me stuck at three lands. Wow. I got to kill the Rootwalla. So now I have six cards in the graveyard. So now I'm thinking, play the Vigilante. But I don't need to get to Sandstorm right now. Try to play a Tree Folk again. Getting back Fengraf Baronmore. Yes. Totally destroying my threshold. Uh oh. Well, I'm blocking again. Getting closer. And I have this card as well, so now I'll be at six cards in the graveyard. And I actually kill the Aquamoba if it attacks. But of course he won't. Definitely blocking here. Returning to the cozy confines of the graveyard. And then a mongrel. They were all set for a great circle of logic. Cycle this. Crop rotation. Crop rotation for a mountain. Crop rotation. Sacrifice the mountain. But what do we want? A wilds probably. So we tap that. Crop rotate. That's a great circular logic target if there ever was one. And here it is. Yes. Not too worried, actually. Play Fengraf. Um, we don't want to terminate anything. We just want to sandstorm the whole world next turn. So we play, playing the morph then is not a good idea. So, uh, oh god, I messed up. I was supposed to play the sandstorm right now. But I forgot that I had the extra mana. Okay, taking this hit unnecessarily. But it will be high score if he plays a creature. If he drew a circle of logic. Oh, he drew a land. So we can now sandstorm. Oh, 
Why do people have stops in my upkeep? Uh, looking good. Five damage. Terminate vigilante. Yes, it's the plan, and then we are going to have to cycle some uh, tree folks. Cast it. We have a clock. What lands do we want back? The Baron Moor for cards. So let's uh, sack that Femgraph. Oh, we can't do anything with that. But next turn we can. Getting, well, Baron Moore Femgraph again. So uh, I can do that forever and I net one card every time. But deep analysis <laughs> does a lot more work. So maybe I'm doing it wrong. Maybe I need something else with my tree folk. Not sure. Sad if it just takes one deep analysis to get back into the game for him. Okay. 4-4 four, four dude. Not good. Crop rotation for another cycle land. Get both cycle lands. Because I don't think this tree folk loop will save me. But that will put me at even less mana. Let's try it. Crop rotate that thing. Oh, that doesn't work. I, it comes into play. For an... Wow. Is there anything that is super useful here? A fan graph, I guess. Once the vigilante dies, he'll... He'll not be very good in the graveyard. Getting Baron more Femgraph. And cycling the Baron more. One red mana left. Can't do anything with that. I'm gonna double block the Werebear. Did I forget to play a land that turn? Because crop rotation doesn't count. Still double blocking. We know he has some summon, so... 
This is probably a mistake. But I have to deal with it somehow. Did I forget to play land last turn? to the royal hmm well it's uh, sandstorm time again then Cycle the Baron more. Harrow seems interesting. Green Harvest. Grim Harvest at the end of his turn. Play the tree folk. Keep Grim Harvest mana up. But he can't kill the Vigilante in response. And we can't use the Fangraft, so we Play the Vigilante as a 3 2 creature. Should have harrowed, shouldn't we? Murfolk Looter. That's a lightning rod if I ever saw one. Did a tusker end up in our graveyard? No, it didn't. Grim Harvest for Cree Folk. Firebolt. Beating down. I'm getting two Baron Moors here. Baron Moor. Baron Moor. Did I play land? Yes. Cycle it. Interesting. <laughs> now I can actually do it. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Keeping up three mana for Grim Harvest. Should have cycled there. Uh, cycle. It's a lot of small interactions here. Okay, stupid crop rotations. Sacrifice a land. So we cast this for three. Sacrificing a forest. We 
Spring in Forest Mountain. Cost eight to cycle. Now we have eight lands. So we firebolt his face. Now it's lethal even without resounding thunder. But now we have uncounterable death. I think I'm taking out the uh, Nantuku Vigilante. Rancor is not a good target. <laughs> so many tricks. Cycle the thunder. Whoa! Okay, some changes are in order. Take out the Vigilantes. Um, these things <laughs> should probably be good. One Thunder felt pretty good. What did not feel good? Flame jab. I'll take that out. And I'll take out the crop rotation. Okay, Sam or anyone else, tell me how you would sideboard against blue green madness. We go again. Oh, that's an awesome ham. Uh, it isn't, but we have the man at least. I don't know what we would counter here. We'll counter anything, I think. Play the Baron more. To try to get to all colors of mana. Resounding Thunder now, it's not that good. Okay, we'll resounding thunder that. We have all the colors. And some serious cycling to do. And that's what we are doing. Serious cycling. A looter. Cycle that first, trying to find a bolt. And skillful enough, we do. Play a fan graph. And his assault stops. No, Young Wolf comes into play. Uh, cycle that. Hmm. Oh, 
Okay, we, we are not corporating into obvious counterspell mana. We can do it at the end of his turn as well. Play the swarm. Looking for good times to crop rotate. No rancor. His hand must be laden with counter spells. Where are our Crowson Tuskers? And Twisted Abominations? Voila. We have five cards in the graveyard. So maybe now we crop rotate to... We crop rotate the Baron more so we can get it back. And we do this and tie the counter spells so we can sandstorm. And what do I want? Uh, quicksand? Do we cycle it? Casting the Sandstorm here doesn't accomplish very much. It gets two power instead of four. Uh, that's actually quite a bit of accomplishment. I still want to cycle it to try to get my creatures. I have to check the, the deck list. There's something wrong. No, there is a Tusker. There are Abominations. What the hell? Yeah, cycling it. Looking for stuff. Looking for creatures. We did sideboard out the vigilante, so we only have eight creatures. We are now pretty reliant on the sandstorm. We will quicksand the young wolf. Meaning that the counter spell for the sandstorm will truly mess us up. Yeah, he just keeps so obvious that he has the counter spell. Hmm. Uh, but then he didn't. Unless it's a pyroblast, uh, hydroblast. So now we go crazy. There's a tree folk to help us out. Sandstorm. Hydroblast. Just get to cycle lands. Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, if 
Forgotten Cave Barrenmore. Yes. And we don't have to cycle them now. But we'll do it at the end of his turn. Do we kill the young wolf? And then firebolt it. Now we just block with the tree folk. Uh oh. That's that card is so good. Here I work for every card, and then he has I draw four cards. He did elect to kill his own young wolf. I will cycle. Mr. Tusker. It is so tempting to play the Tusker here, but I think we still need to cycle it. Of course we have Grim Harvest, <laughs> so that seems pretty good. Kill the good. Attack! For one damage. Cycle the Crows on Tusker. And then get it back with Grim Harvest at the end of turn. Yes. And we're getting another mountain. Playing that mountain. At the end of turn, we are grim harvesting the crows and tusker, and maybe bolting something. So much value. But that's also a lot of value. He has five cards. It's an arrogant worm. Grim Harvest on the Crows and Tusker. And now we can actually play it as a 6-5. Is that something we want to do? Hmm. Probably not. Uh, cycle the Crows on Tusker again. There's a lot of options now. Get another red mana. Only two left. Kill his team. That seems pretty good actually. Plenty of five bolts in the graveyard now. Uh 
The next turn we can fengraph the tusker. Don't lose this Grim Harvest. We have three Firebolts and a Grim Harvest in the graveyard. I've done two damage to him, he's done six damage to himself. Do we just keep cycling it until we have all the lands? Keep mana open for Fengraph. Yes. Play the swamp. And fan graph at the end of turn. How many we haven't seen the logic yet, so anything substantial like a cross of tasker will get uh, logic. There's the mongrel. Do we bolt it? I think we do. It cost him two cards. If he wants to save it. No, obsessive search, obsessive search. No one summon. So we blow the fan graph. Haru can only get basic lands. So that's gone. Uh, do we try to play the Tusker? No, I think we want the cycle card. And now we're out of basic lands. Oh, I only have three minutes left. Jesus. He only has two minutes left. So let's forget about everything and just try to win. Tree Folk. For Forgotten K Baron Moore. Yes. Cycle them at the end of his turn. Mongrels, mongrel galore. Yeah, I'm gonna time him out. Wow, that was really slow play on my part, but that's why we have these practice sort of double elimination rounds. Pyroblast. Well, we are gonna try to get back a Tusker here somehow, probably through Grim Harvest. Uh, 
And he's never gonna be able to kill us. As we will just sandstorm the team. Redwood Pyroblast, he has 52 seconds. I can really take it easy now. So I think I double block a mongrel. No. Just block like that. Uh, what did he discard? An island. So we quicksand it. He discards a young wolf. That's not bad. But he somehow managed to mess it up. And there goes Grim Harvest. Turning Grim Harvest. Casting it for a Crossan Tusker. Uh, this is nine mana. So we can force the Sandstorm. Which we will getting back to Grim Harvest. Playing the Evolving Wilds. Being done and we win! Yes! Uh, thank you. For